Hey everyone, it's Nolan with Blender2D.com, and in this video, I'm going to model the character concept that I created in the last video. Alright, here we go. So in Blender, I'm going to come over here to the end panel, and I will enable background images, and I'm going to add an image of the character concept that I created in the last video. Okay, there he is. Now I'm going to center him. Okay, then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to control R, split this um, this cube in half, and I'm in edit mode right now, so to go into edit mode you press tab and you should see um, your vertices. You'll, you know you're in edit mode when you see these dots everywhere and these lines. Okay, so now I'm going to press the Z. And that just makes it so I can uh, see through my mesh here. Press 1 to go back into front facing view. I'm going to B to box select. I'm going to select one side of my mesh. I'm going to press X to delete. And I'm going to click vertices. Alright, so now I only have half of my mesh. Alright, now up here go to the modifiers tab and we're going to add a mirror modifier. Alright, now everything you do on one side is going to translate to the other side. Okay, we're actually going to enable clipping over here in your modifiers tabs under the uh, under their mirror modifier that we added. Okay. Now with X-ray mode enabled by pressing Z, I'm going to box select these vertices and drag them out to the edge of my character. And by highlighting an edge and pressing E to extrude, I'm going to create more vertices to work with. And I'll continue doing that with the upper portion of my character as well. E to extrude, box select these vertices and drag them where they need to go. Okay. Alright, so here's what we have so far. Um, we don't want our character to be flat. So now uh, we're going to have to kind of pull him out and make him, make him more round. I'm going to turn on forgot, proportional editing. I'm going to actually switch into side view, and with that vertice C in the front selected, I'm going to press G, and I'm going to have this wide, just using the scroll wheel, make the, make the uh, influence pretty wide. See, my cursor's exactly in the center right now, so um, I just created another segment, and I did that by pressing Control r but I want to extrude this, not extrude, but just push it out a little farther to give him more of that, that round look, so um, I want to actually, I'm going to use the size tool so I'm gonna press S but you can see as I oh well, I have to turn off proportional editing first otherwise I'll size everything that's in the influence if I, if I just go out like that it looks a little funny so I'm actually gonna do it from the center by um, going to pivot point and selecting 3d cursor 
And I just need a little bit. It doesn't need to be a lot. That's good enough. Alright. And I'm actually going to turn proportional editing back on. Lower the influence. And round them out a little bit. Oops. Now if I press A to select all. And I use the smooth vertex tool. That should round them out a little bit as well. Maybe I'll smooth one more time. Alright. There we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. Except this is a little taller. Now we're going to work on one of his legs. So I'm going to go into face mode. And I'm actually going to have to disable clipping and merge for right now I'm going to press E to extrude and I'm just going to press the right mouse button and before I select anything else I have to oh, turn off proportional editing and shrink it down and I'm actually shrinking towards my cursor because I forgot to s change this back to individual origins so I'm going to press control Z a few times and now I'm going to there we go M median points the way to go Alright, now his legs are kind of, they're, they're round, so I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to shrink them down, and I'm going to grab, go into vertices mode, and grab the vertices, and make them somewhat round. It's the best I can. It's more like a hexagon. I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. But that's okay. I'm gonna grab these two vases and I'm gonna click smooth vertex a few times. But it squeezes back in again, so I'm gonna push those out. Oh, and remember to enable clipping and merging if you're at all going to move the center vertices or um, segments. Alright, now I'm going to enable proportional editing again, and I'm going to move these on the Z axis with a little influence alright so now I'm just as I I'm gonna press E to extrude and as I go down I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna size them up a little bit with S Alright, now his arms are pretty much the same concept. So, one option you do have is going into uh, pressing Z and then box selecting your entire leg. Make sure you get everything, but you don't get anything up in, up in that area. And then pressing Shift D and just dragging it away from the character get out of um, Z mode and now you should have 
an arm or it's another leg but move it up I'll rotate it by pressing R I'm gonna press S now, over the, the X axis I want to stretch it out a little bit because his arms are a little longer all right so now here's the fun part we have to create a hexagon uh, in his arm I mean in his side right here so here's what I'm gonna do control R on both sides and then control R right there I'm gonna delete I'm gonna go into face mode and I'm gonna select these four faces and delete them if you press con if you select it and press control L it will select all the uh, faces and stuff that are actually linked to each other so I won't select anything over here and I looking from top down view I can almost top down view I can see that I need to come over this way a little bit and I need to come up okay and so now I'll switch over into vertice mode and I'll try to line these up as best I can And I actually added one too many, uh, uh, I, I cut it too many times. Because see, now you can see that I have this kind of, there's no seg, there's no vertice for this one to connect to. So, I'm just going to press Control R, I'm going to split this again. And press S, oh, disable portional editing, press S, kind of give that a little more of a round a roundness to it but I have to push this vertice back because when I pressed S it extended it out a little farther than the rest of them alright so next we're going to uh, connect the arm to the body by adding faces between all the edges. So we'll switch to edge mode and we'll just select the edge right across from the uh, other edge that's the body and press F. So go around the whole arm joint and do that. Select an F. Alright, now we have to create the antenna. So, I'm going to make it in this region right here. E to extrude. Oh, turn proportional editing off. S to shrink. I'm going to select both those faces. Um, press smooth vertex maybe once or twice. Alright, press E to extrude, S to shrink, I'm going to select all these faces around the antenna. All right, now press smooth vertex. There we go, that looks nice. All right, tab out of edit mode. Um, apply smooth shading. All right, now we have to make uh, a place for our eyes to go. It'll actually help if I uh, select the back half of my character with box select B 
um, and press H to hide. And press 1 to go back into front view mode. Alright, select your four f these four faces. Make sure to turn proportional editing off. Disable clipping and merging. And press E to extrude and S to shrink. You can go ahead and enable clipping and merging again. And now we're going to shape these vertices to the eyes. Just press Control R to add another loop within that eye. And then I press Smooth Vertex. And I'm going to select these middle faces again. And I'm going to press E to extrude. I'm going to push it back. I'm going to do it one more time. And I'm going to press S to make it bigger alright so now we have two eye holes uh, it's time to make a mouth so we'll tab back into edit mode I'm going to select these two faces and we're actually going to leave merging and clipping enabled um, make sure proportional editing is disabled press E to extrude S to shrink Again, E to extrude, S to shrink. I'll shrink it a little more. And then we're going to press E and push it back a little. E, push it back a little more. And use S to make it bigger. Alright, now tab out of edit mode see what we have he looks good um, let's add a subdivision surface modifier to see what he looks like smooth alright it looks great okay so in the next tutorial I am going to color him give him shading uh, use lighting and show you guys how to use freestyle to make him look like a 2D character instead of a 3D model. Alright, so until then, uh, have fun and continue learning.